All right, so Google could translate here, but as you may or may not be able to tell, today's box is Korea. Wow, I stand off. Fall out. <laughs> let's get going. Actually, South Korea, to be more specific. Let's get going. Welcome to the A Slice of Life. The Slice of Life? A Slice of Life? I've already forgotten our channels. Been a while. Anyway, so today we're doing another Young Box opening for South Korea, as you already seen. I'm Matt. I'm Laise. And I am wearing some League of Legends apparel for South Korea. I know Korea loves some League of Legends and some good stuff comes out of there. So, ready to get started? Ready. Okay, so as you guys already heard a few times already, we're gonna do South Korea today, and apparently it's gonna be a little shorter video because there are only 10 items. Why? Wah, wah, I don't know. Wah. I don't make the boxes, we just eat the boxes. But you better make it count the unbox because I'm hungry. You ready? Yeah. Item number one, let's go. All right, try to pay no attention to the Chasa ripping some of his blankets in the background. He's an aggressive ripper. Sure. <laughs> so we have crunchy pepperon, Korea's famously famous cocoa dipped biscuit sticks. Okay. Okay. It's it looks crunch. like it looks like from the picture hockey? that yeah, it reminded me of hockey. Oh. Hockey. There's a package and then a package and then a package. Throw. Open. I'm gonna narrate every Steve. step. Steve. I mean, wow. <laughs> I'm hold on to this one. Oh, so, no. This is what happened. Downside of living in Florida. This is what happened when South Korea meets Florida. Everything got... There you go. More chocolate for you. Let's go. Okay, while she's doing her happy dance, um, simple biscuit sticks, dipped in chocolate with a little crunch. So, they're good. Nothing crazy, but as you can see, she likes them. And it's not super sweet, so I also like them. I would give it a six. Nothing crazy. I it's it's, it's a biscuit stick. Come on. I think the stick is very different. It's very, it's almost popcorn in <clears throat> flavor. I really like it. And I haven't seen, because I've seen all the different flavors for the... What's the brand of the other one? I keep forgetting. Pocky. Pocky. But this one that's crunchy, I haven't seen it. I'll give it an eight. I really like it. Mine dips. That's what I'm saying. Like even though you haven't seen it, it is kind of like a pocky stick, but with crunch chocolate or crunchy. Still give chocolate. it an eight. Yeah, How much do you give? I give it a six. It's still good, but it's nothing. More for me then. Okay. Next. So I'm more excited about this. Cinnamon sugar churros. One bite and you'll get why Korea is cooked. Gimme! You oh, okay, there's a unique way to open this. Alright, that's great. Oh my god, the cinnamon sugar scent. Ready? Dig into one. Ooh, oh yeah. So I'm hold on to these. Let's get in there. I really like this one as well. <clears throat> the only thing I would say, I wish it was a little softer. It's very fried. It's, it's not moist fried, but it's very. It's not a soft crisp. snack. It's yeah. a crunchy snack. <clears throat> yeah, because it reminds like of it. a churro. That's the one thing I wish it was best. So I'll so, give it a seven. I, I really to, like it too. I have to say this because this is very interesting. <clears throat> Surprised to see churros in a South Korea box? Then you'll be extra surprised to learn that the Spanish treats are South Korean. That Spanish, that these Spanish treats are a South Korean sensation. So that's pretty cool. I, I mean, I've had cinnamon crunch cereal. I've had cinnamon sugar stuff. A Josh churro? is over by the thing. Yeah. Um, a churro snack. I give that an eight. That is more unique to me. Yeah. Yeah, I've had cinnamon sugar. Yeah, I've had churros before. But that's interesting. I really like that. Yeah. The only reason I give it a seven because it's very. Crisp, I wish it was a little softer. Mac crunch. I like Mac crunch. Move it up. Now, look at this bag. It's, 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 it's very cute. I like it. So, cocoa and coconut puffs. 
This one has coconut in it, by the way. In the last, in the last box, you said something had coconut, or you were missing the coconut when it didn't have it. Didn't voted, happen. Ooh, voted the best snack from Korea. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> I'm sorry, it does. Let's get it. Whoa. This is mind blowing. It's like a consistency of a fandango. Fandango? Fandango, the, fandango, the, fandango, the, fandango, I don't know how you guys say it in English. Fandango is the um, movie theater app. I don't what know, in Portuguese, there's, in Brazil, there's a snack called fandangos. Why don't you just say Cheetos? Cheeto puff, Cheetos puffs. Because I don't like Cheetos, I never eat Cheetos. Really? Yeah. But it's, it's, the, it's that consistency, consistency, but sweet. That's so, wild. Yes, it is wild, but I don't taste coconut in this one. They lie. You don't not. think it's called what? I did not taste coconut. Really? It's there, but it's not like coconut. That it should be is... at least coconut. Yeah, it is wild. That is wild. Yeah. It's <clears> good though, I like it. I like that a lot. I never thought the consistency or texture of a Cheeto would be good with chocolate. But it is. I give that an eight. Good job, Korea. I give it a seven because yeah. I missed my coconut. But it's good. I like it. It's really good. Moving on. Moving on. All right. So next we have this banana choco pie, Korea's iconic marshmallow pie, banana style. So in the states, I don't know if you're familiar, but there's something called a moon pie. Oh, Tried about it. Don't think I've ever eaten. So th that's kind of what I'm expecting. Like a very soft outside. Oh my god, the smell of banana right away. Really? You didn't smell? Oh, I was gonna say, you didn't smell it? Because you did this. Oh, when, when it meets the Florida sun. <laughs> Bummer. It's a little melty up top, but still. So, I'm gonna take, take a bite. A bite. Yeah. There's definitely some banana in there, y'all. Yeah. So, it's exactly like I thought it would be. It's almost exactly like a moon pie. Um, it's very fluffy, which I expected that. Um, the banana flavor, see, like you are with strawberry artificial. I hate artificial banana. You too? I like and, banana stuff. Well, I should kind of go back. Not to say that it is artificial. I don't know how it's made. However, it's like just that banana flavor. Not a huge fan. Okay. And again, it's it's honestly like a moon pie. So for me, I... I gave like a five. I, I was going to give it a three. Just because I'm not a huge fan. I like marshmallow. I like moon pies. But That's okay. I've had it before. And I did it. So to me, it was interesting. Well, well, that's fair. Yeah. Well, I, I the think banana, the reason the banana really throw you off. That's why I went from a five to a three, because usually on these videos I do a, a five for things that I've had before that are like, ooh. So five <clears> and three, maybe not as much banana flavored things, but it was good consistency. Banana. Ready for the next one? Ready for the next one. Okay. All right. Korean strawberry gummies. I really hope that Google Translate did it right, and I hope I did it right. If you speak Korean, sorry, we feel butchered. I'm sorry. I'm writing with chalk, and I don't know if it has to be in a straight line on top of each other. I tried. Um, strawberry gummies. It tastes breakfast. and looks like fresh from the garden. Ooh, that's a high promise. That is a high promise. Ooh, I am struggling. There we go. Here it is. Ooh. Whoa, that smells so good though. That is very cute. Ready? Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Well done, Korea. I see you, Korea. Wow. See you. That was refreshing as hell. I'll give it an eight. Like That's legit. Really good. That was really good. Wow. I'd say a seven, only because I didn't like it as much as the other items that I put as an eight. Mm. That's really good. That's very juicy. Very refreshing. 
almost out of the garden, but I'll see you. I see you there. I see you there. Very, very good. Okay, okay. Let's see it's you all yours. I'm doing my churros now. <laughs> Next. So I like similar to the one you had with the little kit on it for the chocolate one. I like the artwork, but yeah, I know why you're freaking out. Korean fried chicken balls. Fried, oh boy, I'm gonna put you, I'm gonna try though. Fried gang jeong chicken, but in a snack. So I have not had gang jeong chicken, and if I said that right, let put, us know. Comment points to Gryffindor. <laughs> the, just first thing I thought of. So let's give this a try. It says spicy on the back, guys, I'm not excited. Well, what do we learn from turkey? Don't assume it's gonna be spicy. Don't assume it's safe either. That's an interesting scent. Here's your fried chicken ball. It looks like popcorn. I was gonna say. All right, here we go. I feel like the same way from a previous box we had one that as soon as you buy into it, you really get it. I got a spice for a second, <clears throat> but then it went away. Ah, there it is. Mm -hmm. There's the heat in that one. This is really cool. It almost tastes like a, like those popcorn chicken that you guys have here. It reminds yeah. me of that. It, so, there's, we have, if, if you haven't tried it yet, I'm gonna have to have you try it. There's a corn pop cereal and they're, they look like little corn kernels. They have this like shiny glaze to them. They have this crunch, like corn crunch. That's the texture, the consistency I get. The flavor is like in between spicy and orange chicken or sweet chicken that I'm getting. There's some sweet there. So I don't know how uh, gangjong chicken is supposed to taste. I, I like it. I like this a lot actually. Some sweetness and the spice. I do like it. That's good. Very good. It's always a, a kick of spice at some points, but it's very good. I unique. think that's an eight. I yeah. like it. I think I'm right there with you. That's an eight. Yeah. <clears throat> it's pretty good. So far, South Korea is doing good. Not bad. Ready for the next one? Bring it on. Let's get some beer here. Beer here. Woo! All right, so. Silly girl. Sour grape chews. Mouth puckering fruity chews from Korea. Hmm. Well, thank you. Oh, this is interesting. While she's opening Ooh. that. Oh. If you love grapes, oh boy, I'm gonna try to pronounce this. Yong, Yongdong is your paradise. Located in South Korea's, oh boy, Chun, Chungcheong. Why do you keep doing this to yourself? <laughs> I wanna try Chungcheong region. Yongjong is where nearly 70% of the grapes, the country's grapes are grown. Not to mention it's also home to Korea's famous grape festival. I had no idea. I learned something new today. There you go. So yeah, I thought it was the, the, the long one, but it's not so. This is exactly like Babalu. You guys have Babalu here? The hell is Babalu? We have Hubba, we have Hubba Bubba. No, Babalu is a gum, so Bazooka? From... <laughs> no, I never ate a bazooka thing. No, much. bazooka gum. That's a thing? Bazooka gum, and there's little comics on the inside. Well, I'm gonna have to see that. <laughs> very plain, but... very plain, go ahead. So if you're from Brazil, you know there's something called babalu, and it's a gum, and that tastes exactly like that, and it made me super nervous that I shouldn't swallow, because it shouldn't <coughs> swallow gum. gum. Yeah, exactly. So it was wild, but it's good. It's not amazing or yeah. special. Good flavor. It's like, kind of like you said, there's there's great baba baba gum that I loved. It's very easy for grape items, grape candies and things like that to go like medicinal tasting. Um, I don't know, I give it a seven. I liked it, a little bit of sour in the middle. I liked it, you? I give it a six, but only because the flavor is exactly what I already had before. But it was good, it was just not different. I like it actually. I think the next one's a chip, so I'm excited. Let's move on. Korean 
truffle potato chips. The caviar of mushrooms on a Korean chip. He's excited, yeah. Because this was from the first box, Italy box, I think it was, that had a truffle oh, chip. That was oh, the smell. The smell. Ready? You got a few. Of course I did. Ready? Yep. Whoa. So all the delicacy. My reaction seriously may have been really dramatic, <laughs> but because I really, really sincerely was not expecting that, that just smacked me in the face with- And you had a few. Yeah. <laughs> because like all the, the delicacy of the, of the mushroom and the potato chips from Italy does not exist here. Mm -mm. They make sure you know they are there. Here. There are no subtleties. Nope. Zero. Nope. But my God, is that good? It's good. It's just too much to me, I think. It I is. It is strong. Italy wins this battle, definitely. Ooh, I will, I will say that. I will say that the tr battle of the truffle chips goes to... <laughs> the battle of the truffle chips. <laughs> that should be the, the, the if you ever Caption made an autobiography. <laughs> Matthew's autobiography title the Battle is of the, the Truffle Battle Chips. of the Truffle Chips. <laughs> Honestly, Italy, I agree, Italy would win, but however. It's still good. They, it's just very strong. What I like about Korea's stuff, the flavor on every single one of is them. Is there. I mean, minus the Pocky one, and the one to me tastes like a moon pie. Well, actually the banana was strong. But they make sure you know the flavor is there. I really like these, but woo! I, I'll give it a six because it's a lot of truffle for me, but it's good. I think I gave the Italy ones a 10. I think so. If I did, I'm gonna give these a nine. What? It's truffle chips. They're freaking amazing. Sorry. But that reaction, I have to watch that again. I know it was your, my eyes were so big. Usually I did that. It, it, I, I wasn't expecting it. What does Nicole from from uh, nailed it from nailed it say? That's the wildest thing I ever put in my mouth. <laughs> it was really good. Hashtag notice us and say Nicole, we love you. We really want to be on nailed it this far. All right. So anyways, moving on to the second to last already. Aww. Number nine. So this is really fancy looking. Ooh, it's um, like surface feeling. That's what I was thinking. Mascarpone cream cookies. I like it already. Soft cookies with luscious mascarpone cream. So if these taste anything like cannolis, you won't get a single one after this. That's my favorite dessert, by the way. I'm gonna hide it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Aw, these are cute. What? Wow. That is so cool. I swear, every time I think I know the shape of them. Italian style cream cheese and ultra rich cream. Oh, it's gonna taste like a cannoli. I'm so excited. Oh, they're so like crumbly. So crumbly. All right, let's do this. Yours is, mine's fine. Oh, that looks really nice. Promise on this one, and it's sad. It's a very bland, nice cookie, like a sugar cookie almost. There's you. There's not a lot of cream in the middle of the cookie. It is very beautiful, both the packaging and the cookie itself. It's very light. Very light. The flavor is nice. It's light and sweet. I was my reaction throughout the whole fast forwarding of me and her chewing is I was really hoping I would find that cannoli flavor. <laughs> but not so much. Um, I do like it. It is definitely unique. I have not had anything like this before. What? It's a very light, moist sugar cookie. It was- it's not sugar cookie. That was what it reminded me of. I did not feel mm. cream. I did not feel spices. I didn't feel anything. It was very, very blend. It was just very moist. That's the only thing I would say. 
And the box and the hole. I think I just got overexcited because it's Marscapone. No, I get that. And I would be, I wanted to be excited for you as well, but they definitely over delivered on that one. I give it a two. Over like, Yes. <laughs> no English. I give it a two. You give it's, it a five. Because you're very nice. It's a okay, five and a four. I was upset. Do the last one. You better be good. All right. So this one has, looks like a little clover, right? Yeah. Custard cream cake. Interesting. Pillow soft cake with decadent custard cream. Are you playing in the pillow? I had to. I had to. All right. Oh, it's pretty very soft. Well, the middle is more dense. <clears throat> hmm. Well, should should I take a bite. Just take a bite. Get in the middle. You didn't get any of the custard. <laughs> you did? Oh. I'll give you that. I do want something is a filling, mm -hmm. and you only have it right in the middle, yeah. and everything else is just dough. Because this, this one, there. it's everywhere. That's good. It's like a Bavarian it's very cream. Very fluffy. Yeah. Because I was like, I'm just squeezing on a little bit because like the custard's there. I was. When it says custard, I'm thinking like a Boston cream donut custard. Mm. So this is more like a dried version of it, I guess. Like not as liquidy. I don't know how to say it. But very soft. Very, very soft. simple though. Um, very well done. It's like sometimes yeah. you don't have to go with all the fireworks. As long as you do nicely and you're telling us what we're getting. Mascarpone, I'm looking at you. I'm so sad. Right. It's so beautiful. I know. That's how they get you. I know. But that one was simple. We got exactly what we were told. It was just very simple. So I'll give it like a five. But I like it. Very fluffy. Oh. Well distributed cream. I like it. I kind of want to say a six. Okay. Just because it's it's different. Uh, what I've, I've said this in videos before, I feel like a lot of these boxes these crates they the desserts are just so soft and spongy and you don't expect that from something that's packaged like this i almost feel like maybe america industrializes too much it's very dense yeah these are just so soft and delicate again the only thing was that that moon pie that was like it's almost exactly like the ones here yeah but six it's different i haven't had anything like it before yeah well I'm sure I have, but it's not, not, not that exactly. I'm rambling on, I'm sorry. So that wraps up. Like I said, it's gonna be a little shorter today because we only have 10 stuff. But I think the last two boxes, this one and turkey, were very in the middle. We're still in the waiting for our tiebreaker box, which is funny. Why am I not surprised? Are you guys surprised? Because I'm not surprised at all. And I actually really liked it. Uh, it was very interesting flavors. Mm -hmm. What do you think, besides the chips? Yeah, I mean, the spicy chicken, corn, nuts, whatever these things are, are good. These. Those, not <laughs> these chicken nuts. These nuts. Um, we're mature, I know. Um, I will say this though, looking at our scores, we rank these higher than the ones from Turkey. Mm. So, yes, it was another box that was down the middle we both liked it about the same but, but the grades overall were yeah high. the grades were definitely higher yeah but again the turkey stuff was i'm sorry i'm talking my mouthful but i don't want you to see me chewing the dang chips um then don't eat the dang chips while i'm trying to clean they're the delicious base. they're delicious and i will continue to eat them them anyway um yeah, I forgot my train of thought. Oh, <laughs> turkey. The turkey box. So, I like them as snacks. They're all like very mild, very simple. Nothing was like, bang, this. So, that's why those grades were lower. But I liked all of those snacks. That we yeah, had. I'll have most of them again. Except for the pine candy from Turkey, God, it's awful. Never again. But all of this was good. Yeah. I mean, the only thing I probably won't continue to eat, because we usually enjoy these after these videos, of course, nothing goes to waste for the most part. But, but that, 
the moon pie thing probably not gonna finish. Very simple and probably won't hold well, but these may not last the night. We'll see. These may not last five minutes. Go ahead, let's end the video. Anyways. <laughs> So I'm just going to go ahead and wrap it up. Because well, I'm going to eat chips. Yeah. So thank you so much for watching and sharing a slice of life with us, guys. As usual, we love eating and we love listening to you guys. Did you get the crate? What was your favorite? Was it the chips? Let him know because, you know, he wants to know. Did you not eat the chips? I'll take them. Send them away. <laughs> but anyways, thank you so much, guys. We'll see you guys next time. Thank you for enjoying a slice of life with us. Bye. Have a slice of chip. Bye.